Hey there strangers on the internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and this is the final week of Veganuary. Veganuary is a time known by crazy people like me where I encourage people like you to eat more meatless meals during the entire month of January. If you missed my last three videos in Veganuary, I will put them all down in the description box. Be sure to check those out. As per your request, uh, okay, by the request of one person down in the comment section. I'm bringing you a recipe video. But of course, one recipe is not enough because I'm an extreme perfectionist and try hard. So today I'm giving you three recipes. Whoop, whoop. I will be making three different recipes that you can make with the same ingredient, which I think is going to be a future series that I'm gonna try out. To kick it off, I'm going to be using my favorite food of all time, and that is cauliflower. Cauliflower is such like a weird food to claim as your favorite, but I'm not your ordinary basic bitch. I'm your extraordinary basic bitch. The recipes I'll be showing you how to make today include mashed cauliflower, literally my favorite food of all time, roasted cauliflower steak, it's steak is a loose term, and barbecue cauliflower wings, another fan favorite. I'm gonna keep this intro short, so let's just get right into the recipes. Like I mentioned before, cauliflower is my favorite food of all time. And the reason for that is that when I was little, my mom tried to get me to eat more vegetables. So instead of mashing regular potatoes, one day she mashed cauliflower and I was like, this recipe is super easy to make if you want to substitute a vegetable that's a little bit more nutrient dense than regular potatoes. The ingredients you'll need are a head of cauliflower, obviously, about one to two tablespoons of non-dairy milk of choice, about three tablespoons of vegan butter, and salt and pepper to taste. I usually buy Earth Balance butter, but my mom recently discovered Country Crock plant butter and she swears by it. It definitely has a more buttery taste than Earth Balance. Get out your oversized cutting board and start chopping away at the cauliflower. I like to start by cutting it in half at the bottom and then remove all the stems. Since we will be mashing it, you don't need to cut it in any particular way. Just small enough so that they can cook down and soften faster. Place the chopped cauliflower in a medium-sized pot. Add water. Cover. Say hi to your camera contraption. And boil. Once the cauliflower is soft enough to stick a fork through it, drain the water and transfer the cauliflower to a blender. Add your butter and milk, but not the salt and pepper yet. And blend until desired consistency. You may need to mix it around to ensure everything blends together completely. And if the consistency is too thick, add more milk. Transfer to a bowl, add salt and pepper to taste. And bam, super easy mashed cauliflower. Next, let's make some cauliflower steaks. Again, steaks is like a very loose term. I don't know why people call it cauliflower steaks. I guess it's you're trying to imitate the way you would cook a steak. I don't know, I've actually never tried this before, so we're just gonna make it and see what happens. For this, you'll need, you guessed it, another head of cauliflower. One tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon pepper, one tablespoon dried thyme, one tablespoon oregano, half a tablespoon cayenne pepper, two tablespoons garlic powder, two teaspoons salt, and three tablespoons of imaginary paprika that I forgot to add. As for extras, I'm making some brown rice to have on the side, along with cherry tomatoes and some sauteed spinach. Take all of your spices and mix them together into a, 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 a oh, this isn't working. Hold on a sec. Okay, there you go, it's mixed. First, Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the stem of the cauliflower, just like before. And cut long ways from the bottom to make your steaks about three quarters inch thick. I did an absolutely terrible job at cutting this, so insert more useful video here. Place your pieces on a greased baking sheet. I would highly recommend cutting up some cherry tomatoes and placing them on the baking sheet as well. The roasted tomato flavor really made this meal so much more delicious. Please definitely try it out. 
If you have a cooking brush, use that to spread some olive oil over the steaks. If you don't, use a suspiciously small spatula, but then get frustrated with it and just pour the olive oil everywhere. Add your seasoning mixture generously until they are well covered. Bake for 15 minutes, flip over the cauliflower, and then bake another 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm simply sauteing the spinach to have on the side. And there you go. Honestly, I was a bit nervous about never making this before, but out of the three recipes, this was my number one favorite, and I'm definitely planning on making it again soon. I, of course, need to save the best recipe for last, and that is barbecue cauliflower wings. It's also really easy to make gluten-free, so I'll be telling you how you can do that along the way. Yes, I did buy way too much cauliflower at the grocery store. You'll also need 3 fourths cup of non-dairy milk, one cup of flour, which you can substitute for gluten-free flour, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, and half a teaspoon salt, breadcrumbs, which you can also substitute to be gluten-free, and your sauce of choice. I'm using regular barbecue sauce. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. This time, after removing the stems, you're going to cut the cauliflower into medium-sized florets. I don't know why I hate the word florets. It's best if you cut from the stem and pull it apart the rest of the way, because cutting from the top part will make a way bigger mess than you need, trust me. You can either cut them with a knife or simply tear apart the pieces of the stem. Clean up the remnants of cauliflower that will inevitably get everywhere. Then in a medium bowl, mix together the flour and spices. Then the milk, and stir until mixed. It should be a thick consistency, but if it's too thick, then add more milk. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper, and put a placemat down so your mother doesn't watch this video and yell at you for ruining her good wood table. Put some breadcrumbs in a shallow bowl. Then you just need to dip the florets in the flour mixture, then in the breadcrumbs. And voila, they're ready for the oven. This recipe originally tells you to bake the wings, but I'm also gonna try air frying them just because I have an air fryer and I wanna see how they turn out. You can also try these the traditional way and pan fry them, but I am a bit incompetent at frying things normally in a pan. Realize that you can't make three different recipes all in one day and are too lazy to put on the same outfit. I have a full-time job, give me a break. Bake for 25 minutes, then turn the oven off and let them sit in the oven for about five minutes. This will make them crispy without burning. Douse them in your sauce of choice. And I mean douse them. Like way more than this. I actually only really like the barbecue sauce. I don't even need a vessel for it. I could eat that shit with a spoon out of the jar. And that's it. Feel free to add some vegan ranch on the side or try this recipe with buffalo sauce. Thank you guys again for watching this video and let me know if you've tried out any of these recipes. I'll be back again next Monday for some non-vegan related content. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little Veganuary series. Please subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. I've got this fun little thing going on here. Try to mix it up. <laughs> You for regular, uh, bleh. when I say cauliflower, when I say mashed, like I mentioned before.